Leo. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. Yes, acknowledge me, please. Boom bang, bada bing. Vocally. Yes. <laughs> Say his name. LaFal. Boom bang, bada bing. Oh, wow. All right. It's like that. It's like that. Well, I appreciate that Blacklist here is playing to their strengths and they're going deep into their hero pool, acknowledging the fact that Harith on Oheb is a beast. But PTK, they also are pretty, pretty solid when it comes to damage coverage, engages. And if they play the way they did game one, and they have that same constitution, that same level of mental fortitude and dedication to a playstyle, they might just steal one here. They might just steal one here. It's time to take it to game three. Will it be a clean sweep or the comeback from the side of BTK? The Filipinos have been undefeated two days in a row. Can be if they solidify this with the game right now. Let's see what we have in store oh. for us. Victor already cutting the waves against Oheb in that top side. Oheb going in to zone Victor away, maybe even taking him down here. Nope. Okay, Victor gets that level two. Goes. Look at the difference, Merkel, right now. Who is at the goal? Who has it? Who is at the EXP? Right now, Edward is playing at the goal, going up against his bridge trees, hit head. Yeah, let's see. Blacklist International going in for that little wander. It is actually going to be picked up by the side of BTK. Not by Moba Zane, I feel like. It was by Zia. Yeah, it was by Zia. Yep, so again, you have the comfort on side of BTK. They have the tools that they need. They have what they want for early, mid to late. And they want to see MOBA Zane scale. But seeing as to how well BTK, or sorry, Blacklist International is playing this mid lane, they're forcing rotations up the top. Yeah. Might not just happen. We have to see what First Turtle brings. No, I do have to ask, Merkel, you know Harif quite a bit. Yep. So explain to me this matchup. He's going up against Victor, going up against this Cho. It's not an Assassin Emblem Cho, it's going to be the tank. How is he going to look at in this laning stage? Honestly, all he needs to do is just keep farming up, up until he gets that Zaman Force, right? Once he does, though, he needs to be very careful, time that ultimate perfectly, because again, BTK, they have a lot of on-demand stuns here and burst as well. Look at all these heroes. They can just stick to you like glue. Speaking of glue, right now, Bane, that has nothing to do with glue. Yeah. But he's been uh, taking the farm off of Mobile Zane over here. But it looks like both of those junglers are at the same uh, experience point, so it really shouldn't be that much of an issue. BTK, they have a better position at Turtle. Yep, they have priority here because of just how Blacks International wants to scale. Wise is going to be good at this take, but until Oheb is ready, until Oheb is ready, that's the only time Blacklist will engage. You mentioned Glue, and on the other side of that coin, Glue and Esmeralda. An odd absence of that hero sure. that both of these teams actually preferred in the earlier stages of the playoffs. Yeah, let's see then. Again, right now, BTK are actually trying to control this turtle. Look at how they're able to take, take the turtle over the wall right there as they're just basically taking it away from Blacklist. They don't want Blacklist to be able to see it or even try to just get it instantly here. But both of the teams have already started to play in towards that top side. Right now, Oheb does have a level 4 victor as well. He has his ultimate. I feel like Blacklist, they should almost give up this turtle because they have more uh, priority over here. And you have to be careful that Cho, the Cho, can actually kick Haji out of position. Well, right he has now. the free fight, so he should be fine, actually. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. if he overcommits, then it becomes a problem. Yeah. A part of me says Haji will be playing the same role he did game number one. He's going to try to buy the early game all throughout the mid until the spike. And then... That's where Blacklist will start to ramp up. Uh, but the hero and wise says otherwise. It's, it's, it's very different when you're a Bane. You can actually start to pop off. Oh, very wait a minute. Shark gets a very good stun onto Venus right now. Mobile Zane is going to be able to capitalize right now. Numinum Blast coming in, but it's going to be the flicker from Venus to get away from that one. Very good, solid engage for BTK as they go to clear out the minion waves in the mid lane. Blacklist look towards the turtle. Yeah, looking at the animation, it looks like uh, Mobile Zane, he is going for that Wind Talker, so he will have a faster power spy because the item is cheaper. However, BTK is kind of playing this low. I'm uncomfortable when they play like this. I want them to, you know, actually use their strength right now. Well, there you go. Just as you say it, it's going to be Mobile Zane already putting in some damage with the help of Shark. But as you said, they're not looking for any crazy fights just yet. Victor still having the Flicker, still having the way the Dragon. Actually, Fire Chicken almost takes Edward down. Venus now needs to be careful in to that. It's going to be the Lycan Bounce baiting Venus, baiting Mobile Zane, my bad, all the way into enemy lines. But Blacklist, no follow up. Oh! 
That is huge. BTK now on the front foot. Shark goes in for a stun onto Wise. Not a lot of damage, not a lot of follow-up. It's just going to be the stun and that's beautiful, beautiful setup for the first turtle. Passion made possible by the Singapore Tourism Board. I was about to say maybe BTK is now gun shy. Maybe they have changed their playstyle too much from game yeah. one to two. But it seems like it's, it's happening for the better, at least in game three so far. Five minutes in, it looks like they're winning the fights that they need to, and they're not jumping into potentially dangerous situations. In that fight, we also see Blacklist International not really putting a lot of resources trying to fight back for the turtle because look at their composition. They kind of don't care. Yep. They have this high, which will get very strong. Once he has this Calamity Reaper, once he has Feather Heaven, he's going to hurt. Bane, same thing. And Edward as well. We remember how he plays. The moment he is tanking up, Fried Chicken is going to deal not so much damage. And if he does, it's all going to be focused on Edward. And then the rest is just going to be free damage. Absolutely. BTK. Oh my god. Moves in. Collecting that Wind Talker. That is a huge, huge uh, item picked up. Fried Chicken also. Blade of Despair. Look at the items just being... Oh! Haji almost gets solo killed out of nowhere. Zia is angry right now. The Queen coming in clutch with the yeah. shields via Guiding Winds. But look, huge collapse. Oh, Four the minute mid. Oh my god. The one blasting. That's going to be Mobazin going inside with the Helm of Victory. Going to be able to pick up the kill right now. But has been taken away. Where the dragon gonna be able to connect on the queen? What was saying? Goes in and picks up a double. BTK are on the board. 1.4 thousand gold lead. But the turrets, the objectives. Blacklist picks up two. Oh, looking at this from a macro scale, are two kills in a mid lane turret worth it for two outers? Right now, BTK, don't stop. Keep this momentum going. It looks like what they were waiting for is the Blade of Despair. And right now, Moba Zay, he's not seeing Edward over there. Edward, do you want to fight back? You have Haji there. Oh, oh it's going to be Edward going in for the flank, flickering in front. Fifth Chicken is going to be targeted right now. So Moba Zay goes for the kill onto Edward. Backside has been just torn apart. It is going to be the Lycan Pounce ready here. It's going to be able to be used onto Edward, but he's going to be taken down. Now the stun connecting onto Venus, getting him low before he goes for another one. But look at Wise. He's angry. He's coming in with a vengeance right now. Oh. The Cash will be able to pick up Zia right Red now. He Goes and takes played. him down. Another two for one for Blacklist International. They need to keep this up again. BTK, you guys have the right now. Look at the items. All right, Moba Zane, he already completed his wind taco. Fight Chicken already has his blade of despair. Items are strong. Fight Chicken, he should focus on taking turns, but right now he's waiting in the bush. Anyone that comes close, Haji, look at Haji. Oh my god, Fight Chicken almost just one shot Haji right there. And that's gonna be the real world manipulation. Use and Edward comes in and collapses. Shot goes up for the stun. A lot of damage has in place. The Beerus Passion, Moba Zane, in, uh, in range for the like and bounce, and there's gonna be the radiant. Oh. Coming in, but we're still able to get away. Circling Woo! Eagle all the way to the back side. And there you have it. It's going to be the engage and the disengage. The base as Ohem just wreaks havoc in the back side. But look at the re-engage coming from Big TK. Victor going in. Wise going to be taken up. And that is an amazing fight right now. Edward goes in onto Zia. Both teams not going to be able to overcommit. They just stop and one for one for Blacklist because they got the Lord. I, I mean, would the turtle. I, I, I would say in that situation, Blacklist still low-key won yes. because look at the goal difference. It's only 1,000 and that's not a bad thing. Haji having three assists, he's going to ramp up very, very fast. Oheb, 0-0-1. If he had a kill, that would have been so much worse for the side of BTK. Blue but right now, BTK, they're taking more objectives. And now Zia having the Ice Queen won, they can control more in the team fights. But hey, is the team fight going to come soon? Or are you going to wait for Blacklist to get stronger? This oh. is very perilous Venus, for Venus, Venus. Oh Venus is going to get stunned right now. Like a possible will be able to get the damage done, but White Chicken is going to get targeted. Oh. He's going to get taken oh. down. Oh. Right oh. now, it's an all fight. Numeron Blast connecting on the three members right now. He's going to be almost in going oh. to like a Pounce. He's going to be him taken down, though. Shark now in the midst of it all, trying to run away. Edward's going to be able to pick up the kill. Oh, Ohem oh, goes in response, force all the way to the backside, going Hero for the kill. And Victor can't play. go anywhere. Ohem keeps on the chase, not going to go for more. Four for one for Blacklist. Could have been disastrous for All My Venus, but turning that sacrifice into a 4 for 1, only Blacklist could have done such a thing in such a tight window. Again, Oheb playing this Harith with the Mystery Shop just opens up these lines of play. And right now, all of a sudden, Blacklist building up this gold lead 1,000, 2,000 maybe in a minute or so. They're gonna start to steal this. Oh, Edward goes over the knockout strike onto Moba Zane, zoning them away and setting up that bottom side turret take. Look at how amazing, how clinical they're playing this game. That's another turret by Blacklist. This is why it is so good watching Blacklist use this Matilda. They're going to be flying all over the map. They're going to take all the objectives right now. Blacklist, it is small, but they do have a gold advantage. They have a clear-cut kill advantage. Right now, let's look back at the replay. What happened over there? 
fried chicken. He went a little bit too deep. And again, the congregation oh. coming in from the side of Bean. And look at Oheb. He just opened up his arm and force. No one is attacking him. He has free reign on Zia. Zia is just going to get attacked. And Oheb, he's just going to get stronger and stronger. Oheb, how can they take down this guy? If only there was a sound effect for when Oheb or Harith just hops from the Zaman Force. That would be amazing. Just have maybe it. you do. Yeah, ye. Because that's, that, that's, that's, that's what he sounds like. That's literally what he did. Just he yoloed in front. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 yeah. he, I'm sorry for all the audience. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Like, he yeeted he he them out. He, 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 he yeeted them, them out of existence. It's literally ya yeet, man. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. No, but, but, what, what I was going to get at is the fact that that could have only really been turned around by Victor. If Victor lasted there a little longer, see, he never died. He's the one yeah. who survived. If he was there a little bit longer, he could have punished that whole thing. But instead, turned it around. Blacks International still in the lead. I right. swear, next time he goes for the Zaman Force, okay. I'm going to say Ya okay. Yeet. I dare you. I dare you. Make sure the Roger, you do the Hurr as well. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to do both of that. Oh, and do I need to call for the Matilda Kaka, as well? Yes. Alright, yeah. let's, I'm going to fit that in my head. Let's see if I can do it, alright? Just now, I will allow you to do my thing. Alright, alright. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get right now. But Do again, me good. I'll oh, God. <laughs> Blacklist International with the pressure right now. Edward is going to be able to well, bring Victor back to his team. Wise is there, right there. The Chaka is going to be there. Wave the Dragon is going to be oh. used onto Victor. And they're going to damage. Oh my God. Oh, He's coming in to take the double kill. What I tell you, off cam oh, almost missed it. Zia gets traded out. But BTK oh, 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 oh. barreling down bottom Wait a lane. Okay, let's see. Real blow of the going to be able to cancel it away right now as the damage will be placed on the turret. Oh, him going in. No, it's on force just as bad. Oh, my Venus goes in with a circling eagle on him. And that's some damage. That's getting Momo's in. Going to the backside. Like and bounce is ready. He's going to go into Oh, Yeah, yeet. He goes in back and forth and he outplays. Oh! Blacklist. What the heck? Oh, is insane. The perfect amount of yeets coming out of the white haired boy from the prince down bottom. Real quick, gotta say, the reason why bottom lane opened up was because Victor, the Vindicator, opened up that line of play for Moba Zane, and he fed those bodies over to the Roger, who honestly is right now insane, sitting at 6 one, one. And I want to talk about Shark. No wonder he has over 80% win rate on this Lolita. He's been stopping Haji doing what he wants to do, setting up a lot of plays, and not to mention opening up the shield, making sure that the friends from behind will stay safe. Dude, this is insane. The this back insane. and forth for BTK and Blacklist. The high level mechanics coming through to save Blacklist from the inevitable end just now. Honestly, if Oheb didn't go for the Zaman Force, mm -hmm. it might have been over. I must say, it's a tit for tat. BTK, on a ma micro scale, tactically speaking, they're making the right calls. But Blacklist, the reason why they're coming back is on the map, they're making the right decisions. Like, okay, we are allowed to do this, but we have to answer back immediately to avoid permanent damage. Oh man, I'm seeing the chat. Everyone's doing the yeah, yeah. Let's see. Check the eagle coming in. Kaka going on to the backside. It's not going to be able to deal some damage as that is a beautiful disengage for BTK. They're going to go in all the way to the backside. Jikundo able to connect onto the on Venus right now. But look at that. It's going to be the spawn force popped in. Oheb dashing forward, backwards, everywhere on the map as Victor's going to get taken down. Immortality pop. But look at the disengage. It's going to be Roger, all out Roger. Roger. Look at Roger. He's on touch. Girl goes in and he picks up a double. He's going to go triple. He's going to go on the right now. He's going to go back to the human. Oh, Why is he going to be able to oh, everyone away? Oh. Look at all have This is a mod force. Oh, he, he's win. he goes in. Oh. Bomba Zane. What was that? He's going to go for more on the Haji. Like and pass. Not available. Four for two. First, that, was, that was a good job, Marco, by Thank the way. You. He tried, he tried. He, he tried. tried. It, it, it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First huge objective for BTK, more than just being back in this game, they are actually in Let's the lead. Luminous oh. War wow. going free for the Kings, and this is where they begin their path to power. This is their start. Hey. Slowly but surely, 4K now, wow. I'm, wow. I'm sorry, but if the, if this is the comeback, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, like, I called it, I called it right now. If the game's BTK, not over yet. Yes, I know, but just in case, you know, wanna, wanna mention it right now, uh, BTK right now, they're giving the audience their money's worth, because again, Ooh. the audience is loving it. And right now, from side of BTK, 4,000 gold lead. However, in this kind of situation, Blacklist, I would still say, is kind of comfortable. It's just that they need to make sure that the Roger has, you know, be controlled a little bit. More than just the Roger, I really do think Victor is playing such a huge role here. They overcommitted to kill the Cho. That's what I saw. Oh, man, honestly, at this point, Blue the Kerr is actually buffing Mobazane's Roger. Oh, yeah. So, 
maybe the NA France, they just want me to keep on doing it right now as the Lord is going to be able to march on down to the bottom side. Inhibitor turn was taken very low as BTK looked towards that top side. Look at the seed potential coming from Fried Chicken with that Beatrix outside oh. of turn range. Still just poking, poking, poking. This is what Oheb did to them. And BTK, they're on the rise. They're going for it. Oheb getting taken down really, really low. Real well inflation though. They're going to be careful now. It's going to be yeah. going for Z. It's going to be him taken down. And Zaman Force will be able to pick up that kill. But what? Rise, what? what he's doing? Oh. Wait a touch it though. Oh. It's all a bait. It's all a bait. It's all a bait. Victor, he outclasses them. He goes and CCs zones four members away. That's just what the Vindicator does. Victor buys you so much on the map. But look, they're not done. Circling Eagle. Oh my god, Zaman Force being used as well. Mobile is still able to kite away right now. Oh. We're following him through. It's going to be like a pasta. Mobile saying he's trying to run, but look. Oh, oh my god. god. He's going to get shut down. Edward. Edward Balboa going in, guiding way to bring him safely out. And oh my god, we have a game. We have a game. Kuni, if you're listening, make sure you prepare the water. Because this is such an intense match right now. Oh, look at us. It. It's not over. Oh, no. No, no, That's going to be used on the backside. Yeah, he's coming from him, dashing away. But it's going to be him winning the fight. Fight Chicken now still able to cut away as Venus goes into the backside. Edward can't do anything right now. No bid is used. It is going to be both of the it teams going in for an all-out fight. Fight Chicken picks up the purple buff, but no members dying in that brawl. Leo. Yes. Tell me what you're thinking right now. I'm thinking BTK has just woken up. This is the second win we're looking for from them. You know what I'm and thinking? Yes. You have to do play-by-play -play tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're all out. You're tough, tough. You give it your all, hey. boy. You give it your all. Come on. You have, you're, you're, you're having fun. This is great. This is great. What a game. But what? yes, let's take a look at the items here, LaFell. Okay, looking at the items over here, looking at the damage uh, from Oheb, he is basically full built. Interestingly enough, he has the Thunderbelt, so BTK, they do have to be, be make sure that they're aware of this, because once they engage, once they get touched by Oheb, they all can't run away, and if they're fighting in the real world manipulation, they're gonna stop the journey, and then pain will hurt. So I think this Thunderbelt is gonna be a real game changer if BTK overcommits and everyone gets slowed, Black is national, they're gonna say, I'm gonna kill all of you, and with Spain, he will push straight for the victory. Well, did you guys realize that MOBA Zane has 10 kills in this game? 14 kills for his team and 10 coming from him. I mean, given all the that you're putting in, yeah. I, I don't doubt that he's gonna reach maybe even higher. So, the reason why that is, is because of White Chicken and Victor. Clearly, they are the playmakers here. Damage coming in from White Chicken, just an annoying amount of CC and bodily presence from Victor. So, for Blacklist, I'm guessing maybe they start with Zia. Again, just like how they did um, earlier in that team fight. Start with Zia so that they can prop up for this Luminous Lord. That's what I'm seeing Blacklist should do to close this gap. But BTK, I don't think they're going to make it like, happen so easily. Well, let's see right now. BTK, Moba Zane is going to be caught out. Circling Eagle to bring it backwards. Oh, he's alone. But he's all alone. Chat goes in for the sun. Moba Zane now going for the damage. He has the Lycan Pounce already baited on front. Luminous Blast being used. Two ultimates. Actually, technically just one ultimate, but two for the side of Blacklist. Oh, that is a boom bang bada bing. Moba Zane right now, two, 10, 2, and 1. However, Shark not having his Luminum Blast is actually a big cooldown for the side of BTK because that is the big engage tool. So probably BTK is also waiting this out. That, but just the same BTK can afford this time because there's permanent damage on the map for Blacks International. They have to continue managing these waves. Yes, you have great wave clear on the Bane, but the fact that the Bane Wise has to actually visit every now and then makes it all the more difficult. So yeah, they're always going to be a man up. Plus, thinking of how fast Victor uh, rotates, it, it's going to be dangerous. So let's see who can engage here better. Oh, let's see. Shark goes in for the sun. Shark Eagle all the way to the backside now. It's going to be doing a lot of damage. But look at the damage plays onto him. Like the pounce being used as well. Death, oh, the Victor, cat Victor. coming in. Look at Victor. He's going to be able to zone away four members. But Pop look them. at the Zaman Force and the damage coming from Oheb. Now it's on all out brawl. Shark goes in back and forth. Able to get one kill. Mobazin jumps in with Lycan Pounce. Able to get the damage onto Venus. Now onto Wise. The double kick picks up. V Wise has oh. been shut down. Now Immortality has been popped. But look at that. A two for zero for the side of BTK. Victor refuses to die. They popped his immortality. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. It's alive. Oh, oh wait a minute. Yes, be careful. The Zaman Force has been popped. Real world inflation as well has been used. So two big ultimates were already. And Blacklist, they need to back. Look at the immaculate decision coming in from White Chicken. 
That was insane. That was crazy. Blacklist International. They're doing work in a team fight. But from side of BTK, Moba Zane, he's being very, very patient. He's waiting Whoa. for a lot. And then once everything's over, he's going in with a like and pounds. Blacklist International, they're in trouble. BTK in the driver's seat. Nothing fancy about it. That was a macro play enabled by just literally cutting edge micro decisions. And they were literally outplayed almost at every single turn. BTK are putting Blacks International on their behinds up against the ropes. And now for the second time, Blacks has to defend against a Luminous Lord. Remember, BTK, they need to end it, all right? Sure, oh, yeah. they've been doing it very, very well so far, but closing out a game against Blacklist so far in the last two days, no team has been able to do it. Just the same, yeah. BTK can be asking Blacklist the same question I asked Victor earlier. Why won't you die? Oh. Why won't you go down? Dying's bad. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, all right. In most it. cultures, in most cultures, yes. Yeah. All right, Shark going in onto Venus right now. BTK going for the three-way push at this moment. Edward going in, trying to zone away the minions right now. The deadly catch will be used on the mid lane. Zia popping in the black shoes. He's going to be all war. Doing a blast connection on the two members. Oh, he's going to get taken down. With Dragon connecting on the Venus. And that's going to be BTK. No! What the heck? BTK! I USA! It. What is I that? I called it! 3-1 is a possibility. A 3-0 isn't anymore. BTK have cracked the Filipino win streak. Well, that denies the Filipino stampede of M3. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna go clean, straight, 9-0. But that does make things all the more interesting. BTK played their hearts out the best possibly we've ever seen them this whole tournament. And they earned this win. They earned this tempo break against Blacklist International. Oh, yeah.